Hey everybody, this is Frilly Off and welcome to another Minecraft episode on the AlphaCraft server. We're back in the station again today uh, and I just want to give you a quick rundown because Jackson Wild have been doing quite a bit of work in here. And uh, I just want to show you what they've been doing. But also, I want to thank all of you for your comments that you, you, you gave me on the last video about the Spruce Moose Spruce Wood Farm. I really do appreciate it. Anybody that leaves me a comment, I will I will definitely read it and I will try to answer it uh, as best I can, as quickly as I can. It's only fair if you guys can be bothered to leave me a comment. It's only fair that I can be bothered to at least read it and try and respond to it. Yep, so I'll do that. And Sid left a comment about the indicator about, about the uh, about the chest, the lost property chest here. Bit nervous about old matey over there, old Freddy. Uh, but he suggested that we put an indicator lamp on the lost property chest so we know when something's in there. It's a great idea. Uh, I didn't do it originally because it was only a single chest and the hopper went into the back of it. Couldn't pull a signal off the, the hopper uh, off the chest because, because I couldn't. But it was such a good idea and in fairness I was annoyed with myself that I didn't do it. But it was such a good idea that I decided to do it and I, it, it meant that I've had to replace the single chest with a double chest and put a comparator in there but I think it looks fantastic so thank you for that Sid and also it means that we know that something is in there and it looks like Jackson Wilde have been playing with the uh... oh, why have I not got my bow on my hotbar looks like Jackson Wilde have been playing over there I got attacked earlier by a phantom in here unbelievably this thing is so big that a phantom spawned inside the building. That's how big this thing is. So uh, let's have a look at what they've been doing up here, JJ. Oh, there you go. JJ. JJ, you've put... You should stop killing wild, in fairness, J uh, Jax. It's not, uh, it's not big and it's not clever. But anyway, looks like Jax has decided... Wild has decided she's going to be the conductor or the inspector or the ticket, whatever you want to call her. Uh, but there you go. Well done. Right, so where were we? We were over there by the old spruce moose. I've also increased my render distance out to 16. Whoa, hello, mate. They're impossible to see in this texture pack. Better than default, 2.4. I love it. But they are impossible to see. So, here we are. nick that have that away so this is where we were to start with uh, at the end of the last episode we'd built all of this and uh, and i'd still got this to do well i've done this now and basically what this is grab a bit of wood because i'm going to need it what this is it's just a wall of pistons when the when the logs reach the end that observer block i don't know whether i've mentioned observer blocks my favorite block ever in the world of minecraft ever uh, when they reach this block here, it fires the wall of pistons, pushing everything forward. Once they get to the end, once it's full and they can push no further, that block is covered over. I'm going to have to do a little bit of digging out here to show you. Actually, what I'll show you first, that you've seen that, that will power. That powers this block here, which is... Uh, which is the piston, which pushes the observer underneath the that observer which fires the fires the dis, uh, the dispenser it is a dispenser fires the dispenser there that fires out the bone meal um what this block over here does what this observer observer block does over here once the uh, once the line of tree oh my word once the line of trees reaches here puts a single tick pulse down this line which pushes out which pushes out that block there, uh, which in effect stops me when I'm standing on the uh, the pressure plate here. It stops the bone meal from being dispensed. In effect, it turns the farm off. Um, it, it doesn't actually turn it off because if I you, I'll still if you're AFK, you can still plant a, a sapling here, and eventually it will grow. And when it grows, it will eventually get pushed out of the way, and then you will plant another sapling. Uh, even if the dispenser isn't firing, but 
for the uh, for how quick they grow, um, you're not gonna you're not gonna get lots of wood out of it, and that's also why I've left the back empty. Uh, it allows the trees to be pushed along here, and, and it won't break the farm. It, it it should never happen. I I'm quite optimistic that that will never happen. Uh, what we've done around the back then, uh, a few of you pointed out quite rightly. You guys are clever. In fairness, you guys are clever when it comes to redstone. You guys have pointed out that... Get rid of that. Uh, that if I stand here... What have I broken? Have I cut the signal there? Look at that. I've only been at it five minutes and I've already broken it. What did I do? Oh. Oh. So what happens when you go and play with things, Frills, and forget to put them back? All right, so that goes there. Um, solid block there, that's better. Okay. Sorry, sorry about all of this. Right, that's better. That's better. So... If you're stood here, AFK, and you're planting saplings, it's been pointed out by a few of you that while the tree is being pulled away, you are still dispensing bone meal onto a sapling. and It won't grow while the tree is still inside this 5x5 five five area. So in effect, you're throwing bone meal away. Uh, and, uh, and to stop that, I've had to put a bit of a delay down at the bottom that stops the dispenser working for, the, for long enough to get the tree out of the way. And I've done that, and a few of you came up with some fantastic suggestions, but I'd already done it, so sorry about that, but keep them coming anyway. Uh, what I've done is set up a, a little uh, delay switch here, so when the sapling gets a dis when the, the, uh, the sapling grows into a tree, a signal comes down here, which goes down to all of the pistons to pull the sapling out of the way. What I've done is pull the signal from that circuit, which goes through a a system that extends the pulse which pulls back this uh, repeat uh, sorry pulls back this piston which removes this observer from the block powering the dispenser with the bone meal in it so with that observer out of the way there's no signal going to the uh, going to the dispenser with the bone meal in it and therefore we're not wasting bone meal instead of me stood here telling you about it we're already half an hour into this episode and i'm still talking crikey let me show you so dispenser and like i mentioned to you last time even with that clicking with nothing there we're not wasting bone meal the minute i put a sapling down it starts to get bone milled it'll then get pulled out of the way and that will stop until the tree is out of the way and then it'll start spitting bone meal out again. Which means I'm not wasting bone meal. And that can save a lot of bone meal before uh, you could probably waste a full, ch uh, a full stack of bone meal for every three trees that were, that were created because of all the bone meal being dispensed onto the trees. Uh, but as you can see, it's working like a charm. Plenty of wood for Jackson Wild to go off over there and finish off the Iron Alpha build. I'm really excited to see what they're going to come up with. It's brilliant. But they've been dead busy. If you've not been watching their videos, you ought to. They've been dead busy in Egypt. Uh, they've been dead busy uh, elsewhere. So watch the videos if you haven't already. So there you go. Their spruce moose is up and running. It's, uh, it's available for the Alphas to come and play with. Please come and play with it. Right, what we're going to do now? Right, I was just on my way to the end to repair my pick. I think I'm going to start digging out the tunnels in the in the Nether. Uh, we've uh, we've been neglecting the Nether for far too long now, and we've got a couple of designs in there, and we've still not decided on the the one we're going to go forward with. But uh, we've been messing about for too long, so I'm just going to start digging it out, and then <laughs> then the Alphas are going to have to either do something about it or just have to put up with with my uh, my design we'll see how that goes anyway but i was on my way to the end to repair my pick and uh, and i'm having to run down into the nether and as you know the nether tunnel at the moment 
is in here. Well, the nether portal at the moment is in here. And it's been a temporary portal now since the, the day I put it up back on episode one or some episode two or something so it's been there for absolutely ever uh, and uh, and i think we ought to put it in a product place in the middle of the station so what i'm going to do is i'm going to stick it here i'm going to fill this gap fill this arch thing fill this doorway with another portal i mean <laughs> you're not going to be able to miss that are you i don't think so so uh, we'll have it we'll have it here I'm sure if Jackson Mind Wild, uh, Jackson Mind Wild, I'm sure if Jackson Wild, <laughs> Jackson Mind Wild, I'm sure Jack does Mind Wild, certainly kills Wild often. If Jacks and Wild mind, then then I'll, obviously I'll do something about it, but I'm pretty sure they won't, hopefully they won't. So I'm going to stick this in here, uh, and then we'll jump down and set fire to it. So we've got it up, it's time to light it. Oh, look at that. How many times have you done that? Have you ever done that? Go to press the wrong button and lob your pick. Oh, it's straight into some lava. Always happens when you're looking at lava. That is beautiful. Let me go and disable the old portal then. Now, there should be no reason, it's only a few blocks away, should be no reason why this doesn't link up with the, the one in the middle. There are no other portals close by, so this should be easy. Look at that, that's fantastic. That looks really good, actually. And it links us up. So, the plan is is we need to decide on which one of these we're going to be building down the length of all of the tunnels um kenny's design there we've got avo's design there we've got my design there which looks pretty bland uh, we've got forex's design here but that might have to change forex my old china because uh, we need to have normal ice on the floor here and those torches are going to uh, they're going to uh, going to melt it so you might have to hide those a little bit if we decide to go forward with that design but we need a we need a design maybe maybe we'll just there are four designs maybe we'll have four uh, designs going off in each direction which is actually it's not a bad idea for us that yeah not a bad idea at all so i'm going to go off and repair my pick and then probably dig out quite a big area for the spawn hub uh, for the uh, nether tunnel hub uh, and then we can make it look all pretty so i'm off to the end city ender to repair my pick well i've done a little bit of work on the end city ender in the last week or so and i don't really like looking at it just in case i anger a pigman uh, anger an enderman i've got my elytra on i've put a little bit more of a tower at the top i've built that up a little bit more quite a bit more actually to make it look a little bit more like a an end city and i've also removed the slabs that went all the way across to the other side uh, because they were uh, they were just spawning endermen all over them i've also put carpet around the the roof of the the bottom of the end city down there which i'm hoping will stop the Enderman transporting out, teleporting out uh, when they when they start taking damage. I don't know whether I'm oh, don't know whether I'm a big oh look at what's going on. Whether I'm a big fan at the moment of having the end rods underneath the carpet or not. I'll have a think about that. But this is it's going absolutely crazy at the moment. I mean, look at the, it's absolutely mental. Now let me whip up, whip off all my armor, put my pick in my off hand. Go and get some of this XP.
my frame rates have dropped down to 15. <laughs> I can't believe how we've messed about with the settings a little bit on the server and now we've got loads and loads of mobs and loads and loads of XP so this is working great I'll make my way back to the back to the nether portal uh, back to the nether hub and then we'll start doing a little bit of digging out. Right, I've done a bit of digging. I've done a bit of moving. I've moved... Is that the south tunnel? That's the south tunnel. I've moved all of the... Uh, all three of the entries for the nether tunnel competition. I've moved them to different tunnels. So I've got mine, I believe, down there. Then there's another one. Can't remember whose it is. Just down there. There's another one. Just down there. And then I believe it's Forex's. Forex's entry is just down there. And uh, and then I've marked out on the floor a a perimeter for... I think this is going to be big enough. I thought it was going to be too big, actually, when I started doing it. But now I'm looking at it, it might not be big enough. Uh, this is a 31 block diameter um, circle. And I thought that would be big enough, but maybe it's not. But anyway, I've done a lot of digging out and I'm bored of digging now. So what I want to do now is I want to play about getting on the roof of the nether, um, which is only just up there. What level are we on? We're not, we're on 115. So it's not that far above us. So what I'm going to do, take my life into my own hands, I'm going to dig up on top of the, on top of this little section here. This is where having a good pick is probably going to kill me because of the lava and the fact that I just dig through everything oh there's the there's the ceiling that's brilliant so what I'm going to do now is have a dig around up here and see if I can find a place uh, that uh, some bedrock that when I'm looking at it is at 127 I believe it's 127 so at the moment if you look top left hand corner it says I'm looking at block 123. I need to be looking at a block that's at 127. That one there, looking at 126. So it's got to be just a little bit higher than that. So, oh. Oh, that's a shame. I just have to fill it in. I'll fill it in. I'll fill it in. Don't worry. I'll fill it in. So I'm going to be uh, rooting around. I, it's, they're not that easy to find, if I'm being honest. So this is probably not a not something I can do while you're watching. But as soon as I've found one, you'll be the first to know. And then we'll mess about trying to get on top of the roof. Okay, so that didn't actually take me too long. And I think I found a really fantastic spot. These are usually quite difficult to locate. But I've found a really, really... It's a, it's a superb place where there's three of them all in a line, uh, which which might help me out in the long run because I, what I'd like to do is put a, a nether portal on the roof that you can actually walk through onto. Uh, any portal that is above 126, I think it is, or 125, above 125, you can't you can't go through it. You can come back through it, but you can't go through to it. But if you drop the portal down by a couple of blocks, then then you'll be able to get to it. And that does mean by digging out four blocks of of uh, of bedrock. Uh, one, two, and I think there's four there. Is it four there? It's four there. That that might actually be absolutely perfect. Anyway, before I do any of that, I need to get up on the roof of the Nether, and this is not easy. So what I'm going to have to do, yeah, what I'm going to do is if you if you have three now and look at that block, it says I'm looking at Y uh, 4, 127, 7, 127. That's the top block in the in the nether. So in theory, me in theory, I've got some stuff to get me back. I've got some obsidian. I've got flint and steel. Uh, I've, I've got all my armor on and I've got all my uh, all my stuff in my hands. So if this goes pear shaped then 
I've only got myself to blame. Mm, I don't know whether this is going to work. What's the worst that can happen? What I'm going to do is I'll stick a minecart on there. And then I'll jump in the minecart. And then I'll be I'll be in the bedrock. I'll start suffocating. I'll then jump out of the minecart. And I should be able to throw an ender pearl and, and, and TP onto the roof of the nether. So here goes. Wish me luck. This could be very embarrassing. Brilliant. That was that was quite a little bit scarier than I expected it to be. So now if we run back to one uh, zero zero. Zero zero as good as looking at. To one zero zero. Uh, if we put a. Uh, if we put another portal here now, it'll link us straight back through to the other side. So that's what I'll do. Brilliant. So that brings us back to the, the main station. Then if we go back through again. We're back in the main hub. Perfect. So uh, what I want to do now. Now we've got to now we've made it to the roof of the nether. I want to break the bedrock so it's easy to get up there. And then we can build a, a pig farm up there or a ghast farm or all kinds of stuff up on the roof of the nether where there's loads of space. Uh, and to do that, I'm going to need my redstone box. Now, we're going to be using sticky pistons and slime and normal pistons and, and TNT minecarts, uh, which is a system I've been using for a while, but I, it, it broke in uh, in 1.13. And somebody sent me a link to, uh, to a video on how to break bedrock in 1.13. Now, I've, I can only apologise. I've lost the link and I can't remember whose video this is so please accept my apologies this is not going to be my design but it works or it has worked for me so I need to get up on the on the roof again actually what I need to do before I do any of that is to figure out where I'm going to be digging back through again so if we're if that's looking at four five, would that be okay? Would four five be okay? If I come back through, if I come back through there, that'd be okay, won't it? So uh, we're looking for four four, looking at block four four. Excellent. Excellent. That's because that is just dicing with death. That is looking at block four, 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 four. Looking at that one there. So that is the block that I need to be breaking. So I need. I might even. Ah, oh, no. I can do it this way round, can't I? I'll do it this way round. So I now need to uh, get my redstone box out. Stick my redstone box out the way over here. Uh, I need some TNT. I need some. I need some of those. I need some redstone. I need levers, pistons, um, repeaters, repeaters. Let me lob down a little bit of redstone then, and uh, and then we'll just I'll just talk you through it, and then hopefully. We'll be able to break some bedrock. Okay, so we've logged down a little bit of redstone, some obsidian to protect the uh, protect the repeaters because we're going to be setting off a bit of of, uh, of TNT over here, TNT minecart. And the idea is to blow the heads off these pistons. Now, this sometimes works first time, sometimes it doesn't, and it blows the pistons up. Uh, we'll just have to play it by ear, really. Uh, but the idea is the pistons extending just at the same time as the TNT 
blows up so it should blow the head off the piston but all of these have got to be on four ticks and they are and then I've got to run away perfect one down so what I need to stick a block of redstone just there to stop that from retracting back in again I can then turn that off and I want to do the same I want to do the same with that piston so that that will work won't it as long as it doesn't blow that one up you can, he, he, the guy who did this originally did it with fence, with the stone fences in front of these, but I, I, I couldn't get it to work when I did it like that, so I'm doing it like this. Excellent. Without a hitch. So now we've got those locked and nothing will... Uh, nothing will get the heads back on them again. I need to stick down some... Uh, what is it now? Normal pistons, isn't it? Normal piston there. And I need a normal piston facing straight down. Don't think I'm going to be able to... Oh, I am. Excellent. One of those, bit of that. Um, that, that's that's it. That there, 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 and there. Okay, now we're cooking. And uh, then we need some blocks there, there, there. Um, and a sticky piston there. Okay, to get rid of this one. So we've got that, 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 and that. I then need to stick down a, a repeaters and comparators. Repeater, comparator, repeater, and then repeater, repeater, comparator, comparator. Get a bit of dust out. Dusty dust, 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 dust. Get a lever. Power the lot. That can then get rid of these. And then if I flick this lever, it should have broken the bedrock. And it has. <laughs> It has. Fantastic. I was really nervous about that. But it's worked and we've got a way up here. Perfect. Right, now I have to decide what to do with this bad boy. But that's going to have to wait until the next episode because we've run out of time again, everybody. Thank you very much for watching. I really do appreciate it. If you have enjoyed this episode, please don't forget to leave it a like. And if you've really loved it, don't forget to subscribe for future videos. This is fully off on top of the world, Ma, and I'm out of here.